Hey, YouTube. Well, I want to talk about something that it seems that something is missing. <laughs> something is missing among those of us who have an opinion about everything. We all have an opinion about whatever's going on in the news, the ones who do uh, trending topics. Nobody's talking about this situation with this Neverland. Escaping Neverland. All right, so this uh, movie is going to air on Sunday on HBO. I don't have HBO. I, I canceled HBO. I never watched it, so I switched it out for uh, Netflix. But uh, I'm kind of tempted to go and get it just to see this thing. I mean, I don't really want to see it. It's like we all love Michael Jackson, right, at one point in our life at least. For me, Michael Jackson and I are the exact same age. So when I was nine years old, he was singing ABC, one, two, three, baby, you and me. He was our idol, right? As little kids. And then again, he made another resurgence as teenage kids. But still with the Jackson 5. Then he split from them. And then as a young adult, he was an idol. He was somebody who was above everyone else. Uh, maybe, at a, I think about, was I 30? No, about 25 is when Thriller come out, around there. And all of a sudden, it was all about Michael Jackson. Biggest star ever. Bigger than the Beatles. Right? And I liked all of them albums. I, the Bad album was the last one I really followed, and I, I loved it. And then all of a sudden, the bomb dropped with these allegations about him abusing young boys. So, of course, we all had opinions then. And I'll tell you that I basically kind of believed it. I believed it more. I, I, I kind of felt like then, and perhaps I still feel like, maybe this film will change my mind, but I felt like Michael Jackson had arrested development. Because even if he wanted to be, if he wanted to abuse people, he wanted to be a molester, he didn't have to go and change his whole ranch into a... Uh, Toyland. He don't need no ploys. He's Michael Jackson. He, I mean, kids swoon over him since he was nine years old himself. And uh, so he didn't need to do all that. I think he actually enjoyed playing with toys. I think he actually enjoyed having these merry-go-rounds and shit on his property. I think he likes to play with kids just like he likes to play with kids. But the problem was he was not a kid. So he could not do the same things other kids can do with each other. Right? So I think it's strongly uh, a, a rested development is what he had. His mind never really matured. When you heard Michael Jackson talk, he talked like a, 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 a child. I always thought his voice, his voice was very high pitched, but it was also childlike. So I'm not defending him, Michael Jackson. I kind of wish that the damn thing would just go away. It's, it's strange because after that big... Uh, that big story broke at first case. People turned their backs on him. At least the parents did. You, know, you can kind of understand that. They don't want to encourage their kids to deal with these kind of guys or to admire such a person. And then his career took a nosedive for a lot of years. Strange thing is, and he tried to cut me a couple, a couple of comebacks. It never really worked. Maybe at the very end of his life, he was planning this big tour and maybe people were starting to forgive. But um, when he died, of course, everybody rushed to his his side. I mean, he had his fans like he never lost them. Like all the allegations and all the court cases and all that disappeared. So this, he got a great, quite a send off. Unfortunately, he didn't see it because he was gone. So when he was on the, on the verge of redeeming himself, I guess, with the world, his life ended. And so now these kid, these two guys are coming forward. I remember the kid from the Pepsi commercial. Adorable little kids. Apparently, Michael Jackson was like their buddy. He had them sleeping in the bed with them and all the stuff. You know, I feel like, oh, my God, I got to go. I mean, child molestation, to me, is one of the ugliest stories there is. I mean, it's just like something you, you want. 
you want it to go away. Like, we already went through it. We already went through it two or three times with Michael Jackson. And now he's dead in the grave, and we got to go through it again. But I do think these boys, they have a right to tell their story. My thing is just truth. If they're telling the truth, let them tell their truth. If they make a little money from the from the the, the uh, things, well, so what? I mean, what's a little? Uh, apparently, the court case is uh, statute of limitations is up, so they're trying some other kind of legal angle. But uh, that's pretty much done. So if they get a little money out of this movie thing, it's not going to hurt Michael. The mother's gone. The father's gone. Did Kath Catherine just die? I think the mother just died. No, father died. People have gone on. He did have kids, but they've certainly heard this stuff before. It's not news to them. So their family is going to have to go through this again, hearing these things. The story, I'm sure right after Sunday, people will be commentating on this thing. But so far, everybody's staying silent. We want to just, I mean, we were, it took years and years and years to get to the point where you can say, okay, he was a genius. And start listening to him and watching him again. Because he was a, a remarkable talent. A huge talent. And a lot of people turned off to him because of these allegations. You know? And now, since after he died, I mean, his funeral was like Lady Diana or somebody. Princess Diana. Or a president. I thought that was pretty amazing. People were starting to forgive and, and move on. So now we're digging him up again. I'm not riding on these two, two uh, young guys. One does seem a little to be a little damaged. I guess this truth is uh, well. Anyway, I don't get into that case until I've seen the the, the, uh, the biography. Is what you call it? Biography or expose or whatever. Okay, so Sunday HBO. I got to figure out if I know anybody who actually has HBO anymore. HBO. I think they're on their way out. So I see why they're doing these kind of things, because they are. I mean, Netflix is just taking over. People are even getting sick of, sick of paying for cable. You know, if I didn't have to pay so much for this damn computer, I wouldn't. Anyway, the story is, I think I don't have these two guys' names. I'm sure I will after 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 Sunday. That's when this thing airs. The family is trying to stop it. I'm sure they would like to stop it, but they haven't been able to do that. So, I don't know. I mean, the guy had problems. He had mental problems. He had arrested development for sure. So all the things that he did were childlike, and he was childlike. We have to accept that. We have to accept that, and that it, uh, it led to something very dark, in my opinion. That was my opinion up until this point, put it like that. And so now, perhaps if I hear this guy's story, I don't know what's supposed to happen now. The man is dead. I mean, he's gone. They said he, the, the, the uh, statute of limitations is, is over. He's gone. So he, he, how are you going to sue a dead man? But I guess they're trying to get something out of the estate. And maybe they should, you know, you know, I don't know. I was molested myself. I was a person who was wanted to be molested, though. I was a preteen. Well, I was 11 years old. And um, the circumstances were a lot different. I was a willing participant, but still, 11 years old, you, you know, you can't make rational decisions about nothing sexual. So I understand that sometimes these things do leave scars on people. So perhaps this will be important for these guys to get this out. out. Power into telling the truth. My only issue is that if it is the truth, then tell it. If it is the truth, I don't know why they would just make up a story. I don't know how much money they can get out of the estate if, if he's gone and statute of limitations run out. I don't know. It's not my business, really, but they're going to make it public. So the people who suffer from the, through this thing is just going to be this family. Listen, the truth is the truth. Right? All right. I will talk about this more, I'm sure, after Sunday. HBO, Sunday night. Later, people. <laughs>